a new week. How on about week 18? Start with week 25 in the Our Foundation, day 49. That's if it's open. I forgot to check last week. So it could be very quick returning this. If not, we'd be in today and tomorrow. And then Thursday night it'd be Wigan Academy, Herodo. I think it's got oh, Wigan Reserves against Hull, I think. Then it'd be stadium travels on Sunday to Dewsbury. Well, I'd say what the Our Foundation done this week. Because it's a bank holiday Monday. Like I say 10-4. The shop should have four, as we'd seen the concourse close. Well, same again tomorrow. So day two of week 18, our foundation left today, day 50 overall. Tuesday night's usually something on it, and tonight is the Riverside's meeting. So more news later on on that. Well, at day two in the our foundation done. That's week 25, day 50 complete. Week 25 itself done. As it's a Tuesday, obviously. It's not very unlikely when there isn't a Tuesday with someone else on after it. And tonight is no exception. That's the first Tuesday of the month. The Riverside is meeting. Which hopefully will be better than the last one. Where it's basically sat me on for two hours. So I'll start to wait and see. So we more news on that later on in Wigan. So, two bad Tuesdays return after a bit of a break last week. That's the first Tuesday of the month, it's Riverside's meeting. It's a river anniversary for me. My first Riverside's meeting was a year ago. Hard to believe it was only last May. I've <laughs> been to that many. So yeah, Riverside's meeting tonight, rest of the week. We've got the Wigan, I think it's reserved Thursday night, that's been moved forward. A family meal Saturday night. First family occasion of the year really. And then Sunday it's a trip to Dewsbury. Well, unlike a month ago, where the Riverside's meeting was a bit well, mixed, I suppose. And they sat me on that time. This time, I spotted someone I knew, and I moved this time. So it was a good, maybe a good meeting, to be honest. It was nice to hear about Luke Robinson, you know, how he's been through his rehab. Nice to see Jake Sharrock. Same with, with his rehab. Like I say, it was a horrible injury that last season. Not something that left the memory in a hurry. So it was nice to hear he's on his way back. Came close with the raffle, but... Christine one with a box of chocolates. I wouldn't have done too well for me that so. But one of the strangest parts was slightly like, at the end of the meeting. A fella came over. Similar to the castle with family the other week who we haven't as far as I know had a message off, but I like your videos, I like what you do with your way stuff. Always nice to see this fans out there. He has said that he is going to Dewsbury at the weekend. Not sure whether it's this channel itself or it's a style channel. But well, like I say, it's always nice to get a bit nice bit of feedback. So like I say, that's the Tuesday night done. Wigan seems to dominate this week to be honest. But like I say, Thursday night it'll be short to a tomorrow for the reserves one against all. Saturday we've got a family meal out. And then Sunday to trip up to Yorkshire again. For Jews we let's hope for some joy in Yorkshire though this time around. So, out and about continues tonight on a Thursday night, except this Thursday night isn't in Wigan and it's not an away trip. It's an auto one on a Thursday. It's a rare one, but it's a whole reserves against Wigan reserves. As far as team news goes to tonight, the whole team is definitely the stronger of the two. Even on face value, you look at it, Steve Michaels scored in a Super League defeat between the two clubs. But for Wigan, game fell in Marshall Casey, Paisley, but I've never seen him before. Higginson Woods, Austin, I think, has returned to Wigan. He was here last year. Waterway Field, Mac Davies, Jake Moore, Cal Shelford, Paddy Jones, Grogan Barnes, Sam Kibble scored in the last game. Corbin Kildee's a new one to me. Josh Ganson and Tom Davies. And the whole lineup, obviously. Notable first teamers Jack Logan, Steve Michaels, Jack Downs, Jansen Turgut, among a few. So, just going on the way here at Arnold, statistics of this game on a personal level. It's first meeting against home reserves or home the 23s as they're called. 41st team I've seen Wigan against. 192nd game under the season to get back here. 181st for Wigan itself. 31st at Arnold overall. First reserves game of course, that's one goal completed. Looking for a 125th Wigan win overall. 100th home win included in that and a 20th game in 2016 for me. Which sounds a lot, but last year we did 57, so. So, half time here at the Adoption Stadium. It's a bit of a surprise one, to be honest. Wigan 34, all 10. 
Well, full time here at the Adolphin Stadium, and as I predicted, sadly, Wigan blew it in the second half. So sadly, Wigan lose. First reserve game for me, and a first loss. Wigan 34, all 36. Yeah. Well, not the result I wanted to be first reserve game, because obviously that leaves a black mark now. First reserve game. First away game, I think it was. I think possibly the 16s or 19s were losses. Un I couldn't believe all that though. I know the whole side I said before game, you know, Steve Michaels who ended up scoring the winning points. Yeah, vastly experienced. As mentioned earlier, we can let 34 10 at halfway. So to you know have a swing around to lose 34 36 is pretty ridiculous really. Experience or not, but hey, that's how it goes. So out and about for this week. Takes a single day break. Before resuming on Saturday, as I go out for the first family meal of the year. So obviously the usual pictures and that, that I do when I go to restaurants. And then obviously weekends on stadium travels visiting Dewsbury in the cup game. Well, out and about continues on a Saturday night in Southport as we're at the Taj Mahal for my family meal over there. So, we started tonight at Pion Pure Night. Next up is the main, chicken tikka madras with rice. Let's see how this goes. Pretty decent start, I've got to say 10 out of 10 for that one as far as the main's concerned. Yeah, about 10 out of 10. It's kept out for a bit of a break as it is boiling in that place. I'm glad it's raining. So, nice trip to Southport for out and about tonight. The show has cards to Hard Hall in Southport. Nice service, good prices. Definitely recommend it. So out and about continues with stadium travels at Dewsbury tomorrow. Well, we've arrived in Dewsbury in good time, just past 25 to 2. The stadium travels makes another visit to Yorkshire as Wigan uh, visit the Dewsbury Rams in the Challenge Cup round number 6. So, stadium travels with us Dewsbury on an absolutely glorious day up here in Yorkshire. Wigan coming out first, wearing the blue shirt. Even though this isn't a away game, it'll sound pretty much like an home game if you're a Wiganer, because this is absolutely packed to the rafters with Wigan fans this afternoon. Statistics for this game this afternoon, as a personal level, 193rd as the season ticket holder, 182nd for Wigan. 42nd away game, last week I thought it was, but I've corrected to be filed since then. Second meeting against Shrewsbury, the first meeting back in 2014. It was close for the first half an hour or so, and then Wigan strolled to a win. After 125th win myself, under the season ticket bracket. It's a 12 Challenge Cup game I've been to, which in six seasons shows we've not played in a lot. That's the 21st game of 2016. The Jewsbury team coming out now. They'll be playing against the empty end, so that means if Wigan do score first half, they'll be scoring at this end. So it's Jewsbury Rams against Wigan Warriors at the Challenge Cup sixth round game, and it's a three o'clock kickoff on this glorious Sunday afternoon. Famous Jews for the Ram over there. We've moved over to a bit of a cooler side to the second half. It was half time, Jews for four, Wigan 36. Should be a little cooler in the shade here. So, full time here at the Tetley Stadium, Jews for the Rams four, Wigan Warriors 54. Comfortable in the end. Wigan did take the feet off the gas because it was 36 for at half time. But, win's a win. Into the next round. As far as the stadium's concerned, so that's out and about for this week completed. Obviously, a new week starts tomorrow with the half hand least in the morning. Next rugby action will be on Friday. Wigan versus all to the W Stadium.